yo 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 welcome to rtid youtube channel in this video i will show you how to create a new variable using your existing variable in spss commonly when we create a new variable we will transfer the old variable into another processing software maybe such as microsoft excel and do the data modifications there and then when we get the new variables we'll put it back all the variables into spss and do the analysis actually you don't have to do this spss provides very sufficient feature to modify and create a new variable using these existing variables in this video i will show you how to create two things the first one i'll show you how to create a new numerical variable and the second one i will show you how to create a new categorical variables let's dive in into the first one to create a new numerical variables first you need to prepare your own data set in this window i already set 16 data of 16 people which contain consumption saving and transfer of 16 people and we want to create a new income variable which comes from the sum of these three variables so we need to total consumption saving and transfer to create income variables to do this go to transform and click compute variable now you have this compute variable dialog box in the target variable this is the place where we write our new variable name write the variable name according to the rules for writing the variable in the variable window so let's type income here and you can give it the level in type and level option and then click continue now let's move to the numeric expression numeric expression is the place to write the definition or new variable that will be created we can use the existing variables or the function to define our new variable let's see the function group this box contains many statistical and mathematical function or any feature that you can use to modify customize and calculate your new variables if i click one of these functions such as statistical the box at the bottom called functions and speci special variables is activated and shows many feature or many statistical function that you can use to create a new variable okay because we want to total these three variables to create the new variables let's use the sum function click it and then click the arrow to move the sum function into the numeric expression then you see the sum and a bracket and the sign and the question sign let's change the question sign into the existing variable click the consumption and move it here and then delete the question sign again and move the saving variable and type comma and click the transfer variable and move the variable into the bracket okay everything is good we have this new numeric expression to call to create income variable and then click ok now let's see the data view window and you see that your new variable called income is already created congratulations okay now we have a new variable called income and let's say we want to group this variable this income variables exactly to three groups the first group is for those whose income is below 1500 us dollar it belongs to category one or low income the second group for those whose income is below 2000 us dollar it belongs to the category two or medium income and the last group or the group three for those whose income is more than 2000 us dollar and we categorize it into group three or high income to create a new categorical variable from your existing data set go to transform and then click record into different variables these features allow us to transform your existing variable based on your predetermined rules so here click 
uh, income and move it by hit the arrow button and in the output variable box give the new variable name now we call it income underscore level and at the level box just type income space level okay and click change because uh, we want to change the variable and to set the rule click all and new values here you see two type of box the old value box and the new value box at the right side the old value this is where we put our old numbers based on our existing data set and set the rule to transform it uh, to new value for example in this case we want to set a uh, people which has uh, income below 102,000 US dollar as one click range comma lower stroke value and type 1500 and in new value because we want to categorize it as one click one and then click add yeah uh, people which has income below 1500 US dollar will be categorized as one and then people which has income below 2000 US dollar will be categorized as two and then click rank still the same option comma lost true value and type 2000 and in the new value type 2 because that's uh, our predetermined rule okay and then people which has income more than 2000 US dollar will be categorized as three you can use range comma value to highest or all others value it can it means uh, all others value is the same thing like the rest of the numbers will be categorized into specific uh, rule uh, here let me use range comma value to highest and type 2000 and in new value box type 3 okay our rule is uh, already uh, put it into the record into the variables uh, setup window and click continue and then click OK. Now we have our new categorical variable which called income level and this uh, type of variable is uh, constructed by income level uh, based on our predetermined rule. People which have 1000 and 647 US dollar income is categorized as two people which has uh, 2,161 US dollar uh, categorized as three and to make it clear go to variable view and at the income level at the values let's define it uh, for one and give the level is low income at uh, for two the level is middle income okay and three label it as high income okay and add data view and switch the label uh, based on uh, our labels uh, before and you see that uh, our variable is defined uh, much better and that's it that's how to create a new variable from our existing data sets you can make a continuous variable or even categorical variable see you in another video